Hey guys, welcome back to Vintage Halloween. I'm excited, this is my second installment in Spruce Snap for Halloween and I've started with my bedroom, as y'all know. So a little update since last week, I actually worked on the trees behind me. You can see a little bit of the mural behind me. I decided I wanted to make the trees sort of realistic. Um, and so I just used the same chalk marker and went through and picked one side of the tree that's sort of the light side and one's the shaded side. And so I went through um, and did that. But what's cool about it is if you don't feel comfortable with that, you can always um, just leave the outline too, because that looks good as well. So this half the room um, is the outline, and this half is sort of the finished side. Um, and so I want to show you how I did that real fast. So I'm going to stand up here. Trusty, trusty little marker. This is, again, $4 at Michael's. It's just a chalk marker pen. And so when you're shading a tree, one side's going to be the highlighted light side, and one's going to be the dark side. So I basically just go like this. You can't really make a mistake. And then I would blend in sort of this side. And then you sort of have the three-dimensional feel. And it's really cool. It's a little time-consuming, um, but it's really fun. It gives a really good dramatic backdrop. And that's how I like to start my rooms, or, or you know, any display for that matter, with a really dramatic backdrop. Um, so that's really fun. So I've done that. I've done half the wall. Um, you can really do this to any space. You could even do um, you know, a smaller space. You could just do like a one yard of it and you frame it and make it a cool picture. Um, but it's cool because if you don't like this, effect you could do just the outline or you could paint it any color you wanted you can really sort of go to town with it um, and do anything you'd like to do um, so that's sort of a fun project so the trees are going i'll probably finish those next week but i want to talk about this see this right here which is my bedding so i wanted to do um, fun colors for the bed i have in my head fall is always sort of new england and heritage colors and so when i saw this gold duvet on nordstrom.com I was like, oh my gosh, that is so fall to me because it's sort of a heritage sort of gold, goldenrod color. So I bought the duvet cover. This is from Anthropology, maybe it's a rivulet's cover it, maybe from five, six years ago. I had this already. Um, and I just love the color combination of the gold and this beautiful sort of dark, purpley, pinky um, fabric and also the texture of the two together. So that's where I'm starting now. I need to get curtains. We'll do curtains next week. And then I'm thinking maybe something with these lampshades. I'm not sure I like the lampshades, so we might be able to DIY something cool with that. Um, but again, I love y'all's comments about the tree backdrop I've done. Y'all have been so sweet. I'm um, giving me comments saying how much you like it. It's so easy to do, again. It's under 100 bucks, guys. Under 100 bucks, fabric from Ikea, $4 paint pen, and you can just go to town and make it anything you want. So next week, next Sunday to be exact, um, tune in. We'll talk about more bedding things, more things we're going to do the whole room. Um, and we'll go from there. Thanks for joining in, guys.